everyone let's go through the chapter journey to the end of the earth written by tishani doshi the chapter is taken from ncert textbook for class 12 listas the presentation is prepared and narrated by priti shivasa pgt english kendriya vidyalaya sangathan Tishani Doshi is an Indian poet, journalist and dancer based in Chennai. She calls her trip to Antarctica a journey to the end of the earth because she crosses 9 time zones, 6 checkpoints, 3 water bodies and many ecospheres to reach there. The entire journey takes 100 hours. She is wonderstruck by the immensity and isolation of the region. Her journey began 13.09 degrees north of the equator in Madras. She traveled over 100 hours in combination of car, airplane and ship before she set foot on the Antarctic continent. The purpose of the visit was to know more about Antarctica. The author Tishani Doshi stayed there for 2 weeks. Let's go through few word meanings. These words are given in the chapter. Amalgamate combine or unite to form one organization or structure ubiquitous present appearing or found everywhere surreal that's bizarre consecrate make or declare sacred pristine in its original condition unspoiled repercussion an unintended consequence of an event or action especially an unwelcome one unmitigated absolute unqualified parable a simple story used to illustrate a moral lesson austral relating to the southern hemisphere in this chapter tishani doshi has mentioned about student on ice program initiated by g of green the journey to the antarctica was taken up in russian research vessel the academic shukalsky journey towards the coldest driest windiest continent in the world that is antarctica the journey began north of the equator in madras and involved crossing nine time zones six checkpoints three bodies of water and at least as many ecosphere tishani doshi has described her first emotion when she reached the antarctica that was relief followed by deep wonder at its immensity and isolation 650 million years ago a great supercontinent gondwana existed and remained for 550 million years that time climate was warmer there was huge variety of flora and fauna at present 90% of earth's ice is stored in the antarctica it is devoid of human markers no trees there are no billboards no buildings at all There are creatures from the microscopic to the mighty, midges and mites to blue whales and icebergs as big as countries. And now the real problem that we are facing: the rapid increase of human population has left us battling with other species for limited resources. There is burning of fossil fuels, which has created a blanket of carbon dioxide around the world, which is slowly but surely increasing the average global temperature. which we are calling as global warming antarctica is the only place in the world which never has human population and therefore remains relatively pristine in this respect but more importantly because it holds in its ice cores half million year old carbon records trapped in its layers of ice if we want to study and examine the earth's past present and future antarctica is the place to go Student on Ice program initiated by Geoff Green has been so successful as when you see yourself glaciers retreating in front of your eyes and ice shelves collapsing in front of you you actually realize that the threat of global warming is very real little changes in the environment can have big repercussions take the example of microscopic phytoplankton that controls the entire southern ocean's food chain the single cell plants are involved in photosynthesis scientists have warned that a further depletion of the ozone layer will affect the activities of phytoplankton which in turn will affect the lives of all the marine animals and birds of the region 
and the global carbon cycle. So just single cell plants can create such a huge difference. In the parable of the phytoplankton, there is a great metaphor for existence. Take care of the small things and the big things will fall into place. In this video, I have taken up the gist of the chapter and here are the main points which are being revised. 1. Student on ICE program initiated by Geo of Green for high school students. 2. Tishani Doshi, the writer, attended the program and travelled in the Russian research vehicle Akademik Shokalsky starting journey from Madras. 3. Her first reaction on reaching was relief followed by wonder at the vastness and isolation of the place. 4. Antarctica, the coldest, driest and windiest continent in the world where days go on and on and there is complete silence. 5. The silence is broken only by occasional avalanche and cracking of ice sheets. 6. 90% of Earth's ice is in Antarctica and under the ice sheets, carbon records are trapped which can help us understand Earth's past, present and future. 7. There are midges and mites and blue whales and phytoplankton. 8. 650 million years before, Gondwana was a huge landmass which existed for 550 million years when the climate was warmer with much variety of flora and fauna. 9. Phytoplankton are single celled plants in Antarctica which are involved in photosynthesis and any climatic change would affect their activity which may lead to problems for all the marine creatures and the birds of that region. 10. Increase in population has led to reckless use of natural resources. 11. Burning of fossil fuels has increased level of carbon dioxide leading to increase in the temperature of the earth which we call as global warming. 12. And the last. High school students are future policy makers and if they understand the seriousness of the situation, they can plan for the ways and means to save the earth. So keep these main points of the chapter in your mind and remember them. After watching this video, you should be able to answer these questions. In case of any doubt, you can again watch the video. 1. What is the name of the author? Next, what is the name of the program mentioned? Next, who initiated the program and for whom? Next, what is the name of the Russian research vessel? Next, how is the Antarctic described by the writer? Next, what was the first reaction of the writer when she reached the Antarctic? Next, describe the journey of the Shani Doshi to the Antarctic. Next, what was the name of the huge landmass that existed long ago and for how many years it remained? Next, why is the Antarctic called as pristine? Next, how can the Antarctic help to study Earth's past, present and future? Next, what is the outcome of increasing population? Next, what is the outcome of burning of fossil fuels? Next, describe the parable of the phytoplankton. And the last, why is the program so successful? Thank you. You can contact me on the given details.